this is the Evie Piggy Girls, the Heartbreak Chick, the Queen of the Indies, Tiffany, and here on the No Holds Barred Network, I am live at the H2 World Building here. So we're gonna get some interviews, we're gonna hang out, I got some footage for you guys, so stay tuned. Hey guys, we're here with Frankie Picard, he's one of my dearest friends of the podcast. You've seen him on Under the Ropes, what's going on? Oh man, it's hot. It is hot, what is going on? We should be drinking some beers. Oh my god. We should barbecue, I think we're just gonna crash just gonna... all those tailgatings going on oh, over definitely, here. definitely, definitely. Like, give me like the nearest liquor store that you can find. Alright, we're out, my guys. No. <laughs> exactly. So, you're not wrestling tonight, no. but what match are you looking forward to? Tomorrow? Oh, man. Actually, I'm looking for all of them. This tournament is really big. Uh, a lot of a lot of people that's in there is gonna like give it the best, give it the all. And I just want to see who's gonna win this. You know, this is, that's a suspense that 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 drives people. They'll be like, man, I wanna, who's gonna be the champion? Mm. Who's gonna be the mystery person, though? I don't know. I, Okay. Could it be is like, it going to be you? Huh? Is it going to be you? Nah. I don't know. He might be like going in there. Like. I might. I might. I might just come out there in the hood and the cape. Oh, shit. Now, there you go. <laughs> I might come out in the middle of the shadow. I might fucking sting it. And shit. Oh, okay. But we need another cigarette review. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh. Definitely. Anyway. All right, guys. <laughs> we got Low Life Louie here. You. I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Yeah. How are you? I am great. I'm excited. This is this is uh, my first tournament here at the H2O building, so I'm really excited. So I love H2O. You're drinking some Four Locos. This is what I'm known for, actually. Yeah, I love many it. Many years I've been supporting a Four Locos. <laughs> We're going to put it all, like, all over your gear and all that stuff. So are you doing a run-in? Is that what's going on? Like, what are you the mystery uh, person? No, no, I'm not the mystery person. Uh, I actually lost my opportunity last month. I wrestled Atticus Kogar. He defeated me one, two, three in the middle of the ring, fair and square. Can't say nothing about that kid. That kid is the future of deathmatch wrestling. And uh, I I have to, I beat myself up over that, but you know what? I'm just here to enjoy the show as a fan, hang out with the boys, have a few beers, and have a good time. Who's the one that everybody should be looking out for besides Atticus? Uh, oof. There's so many guys in that tournament, uh, you know, uh, Jimmy Chando Lion has been on a, such a good run since he became a fan favorite here. Had a great match with Neil Diamond Cutter at the last extravaganza, probably the, one of the best matches of that weekend. Uh, Mickey Knuckles is a deathmatch legend, especially for a female. And uh, Kennedy Copeland is an up-and-comer. And, -comer. and uh, the, uh, just to watch those two ladies go, out, go to war is going to be fun. Uh, man, Declan Grant, uh, trained by the Notorious 187 Homicide, actually holds a pinfall victory over me as well. So uh, he could be uh, victorious. Uh, Eric Ryan, the 2020 King of the Deathmatch. It's, it's the, 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 the tournament is stacked. And again, it hurts that I'm not a part of it, but also I, I can enjoy sitting back and watching so much talent go at it. This show is stacked from top to bottom. And again, this uh, behind Hustlemania, this is the biggest night in, uh, for H2O during the year, calendar. So guys, make sure you tune in. The 20,000 dump packs at a fatal four-way with our friend Mitch. How are you? I'm doing good, how are you? I'm good. So how are you prepared for all these dump packs? Well, 20,000 dump packs. It's my very first match with like thumbtack themed. I've been hitting the head with a thumbtack bat before. It sucked. So... Why not just 20,000 of them? Well, it's for the Danny Havoc Hardcore Championship. So pretty much, I've been through all these crazy matches where I've been thrown into things, off of things, and into dragged around and glass, wire, and kind of just get used to it now. So now I'm just like, this is nothing. So pretty much I'm just going to go in there. I'm going to get cut up a little bit. I'm going to bleed. I'm probably going to scream. But, no screaming. <laughs> oh no, I always scream. Whether I'm happy or sad, I'm screaming. And then I'm gonna win that Danny Havoc Hardcore title for my tag partner. I don't care, Jeff. That title's mine. Ooh, you heard it here, guys, on the whole party network. So good luck. Thank you. Hey, look, I found Casanova Valentine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, yeah. What is going on? How are you? I'm actually, no one knows I'm on this show, so it's a secret. You have to play this after, but I'm an H2O. I might do something tonight. We'll see what happens. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Are 
are you gonna jump? Are you the mystery person? I'm not that. <laughs> I think, but it, it's a better mystery. It, the pop will be better. But I'm doing something sneaky. We'll see what happens. It'll be pretty good. But I'm having a beer. I just did a brutal match last night at uh, No Peace in Orlando. 6 a.m. flight. Got here. All cut up. Ugh. Got one more thing today, and then I got next weekend off, and I'm gonna do absolutely nothing. I'm really excited about it. I love it. So tell everybody, like, what match you looking forward to tonight? Uh, tonight, I'm actually. Actually, I'm really looking forward to the Thumbtack match, and I just want to see who wins the finals. Hardcore Kingdom is a really cool tournament. A lot of people don't know this, but when I started doing the No Ring shows, I wasn't working the Indies anymore, and the first back back on the Indies was Hardcore Kingdom. Tremont, I did a match with Tremont, and he said, hey, you want to come back and start working the Indie schedule? I go, oh, I don't know. I just kind of have fun doing my own thing, and he invited me back, and my first Indie show back was Hardcore Kingdom, and since then, I've done Australia, UK. Canada, and so it's all thanks to Maddie for letting me in the first one. So I'm excited to see who wins this one. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks. It's nice seeing you again. Nice to see you too. Oh, I love it. Check love it, it out. She's the fucking best. Check all of her shit. Thank or I'm going to come to your house. Ooh. And make you a nice dinner. Ah! Look at Sean. I'm beyond excited. I pulled them out of my shoes. Like I walked to the and I'm just clacking all the way. And they're like, "What is? Why are your shoes clacking?" I'm like, "Oh, thumbtacks." Thumbtacks? What? So I heard a trick. I don't know which wrestler said this, but I I've never passed. That makes so much. I got you that little. See, I got you covered here. See, see, get your posters. Buy them. Buy them on H2O. Yeah, buy it. So and then forget you some thumbtacks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the posters. I didn't want to do it then. Yeah, right. It's going to be spectacular. Yes, we have Austin Luke here, who just came off from No Peace yesterday. Congratulations! So, and I'm not allowed to call him a kid. So, so there's a story behind that. About that one. It's okay. So, so, that the whole thing about it is I feel like every time I get poetry or a child, I'm okay with that. But I feel like it devalues everything. I feel like it diminishes the whole thing. I feel like you can do it. But when someone's like, yeah, the match, it, 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 it's it really back in the And like, I know there's a lot of people that are like, oh, uh, this kid doesn't want to be called a kid. There's definitely people in wrestling that I look up to that are a lot of people like going on. So, just did that last night with Paro. Yes. So, are you ready for today? Have to. 20,000 thumbtacks. Two week death matches in two days in 20 different states. First time ever doing this. And I love it. I'm more, I'm, this is the coolest thing ever to me. Like, it's awesome. So, how are you preparing for today? It's weird because, like, Mark's my best friend. No. And it's yeah. like going into a death mask for people you love. Like yeah. Jeff is the nicest human being ever. Miss is a good person. I'm like, I have to like, stab my friends with some text. It's weird. Like, and like Mark, my best friend. He's my little brother. He really is. He's my little brother. He is, and he hates when I say that, but it's like, he calls me at 12 o'clock at night asking for like, advice on shit. Like, he's literally my little brother. So I love him to death. And doing matches like this, it's. We've done it before together, and every time we have, we don't hold back because I knew he wouldn't want me to do it, and I wouldn't want him to do it to me. We don't hold back. And it's like they always say you hit your friends harder or the hardest or whatever, and then during matches like these, we always end up hurting each other. Not that, like we always end up doing things we regret after, but it's those things like. Like we can look back on air to our throne and like, hey, remember that time that we struggled to stress with dumb tech kick pads and stuff like that. You know? Pretty much. We go, we like, we hang out, we go to the trampoline park, we go do dumb, dumb stuff like that. Go to, who wants me to go to Top Golf? He's always asked me to go to Top Golf. I've never been, I've never played golf a day in my life. So when you beat him, you tell him. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm the one who wants to go to the trampoline park all the time. He always wants to go to Top Golf. But I'm very like anti-social, I'd rather be at home playing video games and I'm like, I'm a and he's not. He's like, no, let's go do stuff. Uh, it's a little brother dragging me out to do stuff. 
So what is it going to be to you if you win the belt tonight? I just pre-ordered. That's something. Hasn't really said in that I've even interviewed him. Probably not. No, DJ and that's going to Obviously, we have a few lots to a lot of us here. I wasn't very close to him. He said something I knew. I have very good memories. I remember watching his matches in the back of the in like sixth grade in the back of the class, come here, come here, come here. getting in trouble because he'd be bleeding buckets. And I'd be like, this is awesome. My teacher would walk up behind me like, what are you doing? This is ridiculous. It's crazy. And I go, no, it's not crazy. Like, and meeting him here, I got to see him wrestle live once, and I was at Raver's Benefit Show. And, yeah, he's a very good person, and uh, I wish I could have known him. Good luck. He's definitely an inspiration. So. We're gonna see a lot of it. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Get excited, guys. Well, good luck and thanks for chatting with so us. Thank you very much for network. chatting with me. So I'll talk to you. <laughs> so I found <laughs> mouse. Oh, oh my God, we have this hybrid champion. I'm a little nervous right now. So no, 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 no. I don't bite too hard. Oh my God, I'm a little nervous. So, <laughs> so are you ready for the match tonight? I'm on third, first one down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bam, Bam really got me pissed off. Not gonna lie, he got me really pissed off. Yeah. Oh boy, what are we gonna do? Yeah. What's the plan? I mean, well, contrary to what I just said, it's, it's claw and bite. It's usually claw and bite. Like instinct take over. My fight or flight instincts kicked into overdrive right now. We like like me. We're on good terms. We're on good terms. 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 Good terms.
counted out 20,000 <laughs>
closer and closer, like... Thank you.